A final poetry recital by Mahmoud Darwish in Ramallah just a few weeks ago. The audience didn't know they were listening to the national Palestinian poet for the last time. This appearance was to mark the 60th anniversary of the Nakba, when half the Arab population of Palestine were driven from their homes by the creation of the State of Israel. The themes of loss and dispossession haunt the poetry of Mahmoud Darwish. As a child, he and his family were forced to flee their village near the port of Haifa. Later, they were able to return and live in the area. Darwish published his first work in 1960, and it had an immediate emotional effect on Palestinians, whether living in their homeland or in exile. His writing evoked the pain of being displaced, but also the struggle for the birth of a Palestinian state. We lost a great uh, poet, a great leader, a thoughtful man, filled with love and true feeling to Palestine. His passing made the front page of newspapers all over the Arab world. Palestinians in the West Bank and Gaza Strip expressed strong personal feelings of loss upon hearing the news. All the Palestinian people hold a lot of respect and appreciation for this great poet. He conveyed his message about Palestine to the whole world. We as Palestinian people deserve life, deserve independence and we deserve freedom. He struggled for Palestine in his own way, through his poems. As a published writer, Darwish enjoyed the kind of success that most other contemporary poets can only dream of. Each new collection of his poems would attract great interest, and his work has been translated into English, French and many other languages. Mahmoud Darwish was, we read Mahmoud Darwish when he was uh, students, we read it when he was in university, we read it until now. My father read Mahmoud Darwish, my grandfather read for Mahmoud Darwish. So I think all the Palestinian, you know, Mahmoud Darwish was something in the memory of us. Darwish's final works are imbued with a gloomy assessment of the world he would leave behind. He saw death coming, and yet still he clung to life. To life, I say, go slow. Wait for me until the drunkenness dries in my glass. I have no role in what I was or who I will be. It is chance, and chance has no name. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Jerusalem.